Okay, one thing what I recommend you to do, it's always save your work. So whatever you progress, just save it in case if you want to come back or you like something you done before. Okay, um, before we actually jump, what I want to do, I want to take and just slightly reduce some of those heights. Just so they look a little bit more natural right there. Okay. We spoke before we're going to get our close up and we'll go to add some of the plants in our scenery and those plants will help us to the either tidy up our overall look so what i'm going to do is click and open our plants and it depend on what version you have it you may have a different type of the plants that you can use it um, right here you can see I have some of the tra uh, bushes, some different ones, and we'll just go use it mostly that you probably have it. So let's go ahead and back to our trees, and I'm going to use it under late spring, so we'll go click, select that one, and you'll notice it just importing inside our scenery. I'm going to bring closer. And actually, see what I'm doing? I'm kind of dropping down. The reason is why, because I want almost take out of the camera. So if we put it right closer, I don't kind of worry too much about the roots, but I want to create this foresty look up front of the camera. So we can always take it, make it smaller, and put it just on the side. So if you preview, we kind of start building this framing around our view with the plants. Okay, let's go click and select one more. Okay, and nice things about ecosystem inside the view that it is every plant that we're creating, it's the same species, but using special algorithm, they're all unique and random. So this is kind of nice. You don't need to worry about the scale or other things. They just work very well together okay so we'll go place it right there okay I'm thinking maybe we need paint a little bit of the grass but we'll see because painting of those objects will take a little bit render time but we maybe we'll do this okay the, also you notice I created a one color so let's go ahead this is what late spring we'll take a different one and mostly if you look on the plants, they sometimes have different kind of leaves, different color, even the same species. So that's what I want to do right here. It just add a little bit of this color variation. Okay, and you can actually preview in this case, you can see right here we have slightly color variation in our plants. Yeah, let's go ahead and add some maybe um, different trees. I'm going to add Atom. Let's look very beautiful tree. Uh, let's go Ash. And again, if you don't have those plants, you can use a different ones. They're just kind of suggestions. And I'm using whatever it's come with the in the extreme versions. So and right down the back, so I'm putting the Ash tree. And we maybe bring even closer. But you can see we kind of start building. So let's go ahead, do one more. And we'll just bring this closer. So this is what I like to call it's a framing. So we kind of take attention while bringing attention more to the middle of our scenery. And when we take our sunlight, so we can actually even right now to do this. If we put it a little bit on the back right there with golden hour, you can see how we have its shape and our plants start bringing interesting look towards this. Okay. We can bring right around there maybe. And this glow kind of gives us very interesting look. This is what we're going to do. But again, don't worry too much about lighting. This is we can experiment to see how it's shadows and everything going. But again, atmospheres, it will be our last step. So let's go ahead. Next, um, 
you know what let's actually paint a little bit flowers right here so we'll go click on our close-up material and one thing what I want to do it is add another layer so we'll go ahead and add ecosystem right above so we'll just leave it as default but inside let's go add some plants and I'm going to the flowers and we have a different collection kind of of the flowers we can use it and we'll just add some one type of the flower we maybe want to add grass and uh, maybe some different type but overall what I want it's just painting around this area just up front of the camera to make kind of nice look um, environment okay so let's go ahead we add one um, we'll go add let me see if I have a grass look okay right here grasses okay and we'll just go ahead patch with the grass okay let's go look more okay I have it yeah reeds we have it pirates so we have it a little bit of those um, we have it also a bunch of the grasses and small grass field so let's just select you know all these different type of the patches okay let's go select another ones let's go select on grass uh, in nature if you look it's actually mix quite a bit so it's what I want to do I want just mix all these different type of the plants and give it this messy natural look um, if you don't have some of those plants you can always go and kind of purchase or sometimes they have it for free at Carnacopia website so it's a very good place to build up your collections for the plants and other stuff so you know what let's even select this one and I think I will need to add a little bit different type of the flowers. Okay, so let's go right there and we'll go back to the flowers. And we have those ones, multicolors, so let's go select the blue ones. And maybe also dandelions. Because to me it seems like dandelions just growing almost everywhere. Okay, so I'm done kind of placing this but here's things I can go click populate that populate and take a lot of space or because I'm only caring care about this small patch I want to actually use it painting tool so in this case it's like real brush you can see right here we have our arrow brush we have our radius brush flow selections so we have it all of these options here available so for now I'm just going a normal simple brush with unchecked limited and I just want paint so first stroke and I'm looking right there you know what maybe just a little bit reduce scale okay patch oh yeah this is look way nicer and right here we're just going and start kind of painting right here this is our border so around there And you can see in our preview where we're painting. So it will save us quite a bit actually size. Okay, we can paint a little bit more far away. A little bit higher density on closer and probably a little bit less density as we're going away from the camera. Okay, we'll do paint right there we could go and increase just slightly brush size so we'll cover a little bit more and just let's go right here placing something on the back okay let's go on the edge right this edge adding but remember we'll put a little bit more plants some trees and some other stuff okay let's go ahead closed for now we'll click ok and let's render and see what we have it so far okay you can see we already have a very nice population on the plants look more natural kind of look with some green stuff 
we'll put a little bit more plants on our back to cutting like trees maybe right here or maybe even paint some trees on the back a little bit but it is uh, look nice let's paint just slightly a little bit more far to that point okay so for this again notice we have it right here ours open so i'm going to select click on paint again and we can just paint right there and you can see we're kind of painting to the edge so it's what i want i want to go and paint right around probably here this is highest point for our terrain going so i'm going to increase size of our brush and just paint right on the end so you can see right here we're adding those plants that's why i want to place them okay right here there you go Okay, so we paint our plants, you know, just maybe a little bit more. Okay, let's go click OK. And let's place a few more trees, maybe far around this area right here. So there will be far away trees. And let's go see what we have. So we have several different ones. We can also just take also select like a tree we can put them on a back far away somewhere around here again we can if you want it you can always use it brush and just brush some trees on a the back there i just want to place it few of them some of them back right there maybe place a few around this area as well and we can also go and can select a different type of the plant so let's go select maybe um the spring one just put it on a side around this area Okay, go right there. I think just put around there. And we'll again go and bring closer to the camera now. Bring around this area. So you can see how we start building a little bit more our and again we have some yellowish on this side, so let's bring and put a green color some around this area right there maybe one right in this and one interesting thing so you not necessarily can go to the ground so if you want it you can take your tree and bring lower because you won't see it but you can kind of fill this area so let's render see what we have it so far okay so it, it's look not bad it's already started getting shape um, I probably want to add some bushes right those areas. This is weak spot, so we want to hide some of this. So we'll add bushes right around this area, a little bit more bushes around here. And I think after this we can start work on the lighting. So let's finish the placing our plants and the shapes in the next tutorials.